How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Firestorm Podcast. Joined as always by Gus, we are here bringing we are here bringing you another album review. This oh boy! One, this one recommended by Gus himself. Yeah, I mean, it was probably recommended by one of us. Well, it has. <laughs> I, yeah. Well, I mean, we've kind of taken it turns with this. I recommended the Code Orange one from last fortnight. Yes. Check that out if you haven't. Mm-hmm. And this week we're doing... That was an experience. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> and um, this week we're doing uh, Red's brand new album, Declaration. Yeah, we're recording this, at least for me, it's release day. So for me, it's uh, Friday night on April 3rd. So, so for Trent, it's uh, in the morning on uh, the 4th. The 4th, yeah. Unfortunately, like, because we've scheduled episodes the way they are, this point, this episode won't come out for a bit, so... Yeah. It, we might be a bit behind in the time, which is unfortunate. It's okay. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so I know Gus has got a lot more varied history with Red. I've listened yes. and liked literally, like, one song, and I haven't yep. bothered to search up the rest of them. They're in, they're in the list of artists that... I want to check out. I ha- that's well, a now pre- you're going to. List. Yeah, now I have. I'm being forced to. Uh, I'm yep. literally chained to my chair. I have no <laughs> choice. I have to do this. <laughs> yeah. So I want to address that. Um, like, I think I've heard. So because like half the album were singles already, I've heard about five of the songs, and I'll mention them before we start them. Like which ones I've heard already. Um, but. As far from like what I've heard, the the singles that I've heard, it's like it's a lot more of a straightforward red sound, which is cool because a lot of like pretty much every single album, like you can define it by like a certain vibe, like. But this one is like a lot more just straightforward, like hit you in the face red, as opposed to like a lot of the more uh, theatrical, drawn out like strings that you know, s- albums like of beauty and rage had. So I'm in, I'm interested to hear how the rest of this sounds. Um, so I'm very excited. I was like, when it, when it first came out, I was like, Oh my God, I can't listen to it because if I do, I'm going to ruin the podcast. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. and, um, I think next fortnight we are going to be taken care of. If it's out, uh, taken care of. Nate be. wants to battles. Thanks for more covers. That will be a long boy. Yeah, it will. He's attempting to re- release it a bit earlier than what it initially was planned for because of yep. <coughs> COVID. Um, Hello. So demonetized. De- demonetized. <laughs> we were never monetized in the first place. So True. It's, it's, it's fine. I heard yep. you. Wait, didn't you just get monetized on your main channel? I did. I literally just got um, partnership acceptance. Yeah, th- thank God. But about half of it, I'm... Uh, well, it's, it's interesting because, like, this is a weird tangent, but, like, um, um, for the YouTube partnering, I haven't actually, like, applied. Like, I think I applied, like, a long time ago, maybe, mm-hmm. and they just now accepted me or something because you you have to meet the certain qualifications. I thought you had to have 2,000 subscribers, and I don't have 2,000 yet. I'm bordering on 1,900 right now, but... Um, I don't. I thought you had to have two thousand, but I don't know. May, I guess not. So, yeah. uh-huh. but so I've just I've I've been tinkering around with AdSense, and apparently uh, they sent me a verification like letter in the actual mail in twenty seventeen. What? They they sent me an e- like a letter for verification, like verifying my billing address in twenty seventeen, which I don't think I was ever qualified to receive money from YouTube in twenty seventeen. So. But yeah, so I had oh. to have them. I had to have them resend that. So, uh, but I haven't the AdSense. I'm not sure how it works, and I'm not sure like how, because it, it it says I have like earnings already in there, but it's like very insignificant, and I'm not sure if that's like my all time total or just like over the past month. Because it's my all time total, and that's there's not going to be a whole lot of money coming in from <laughs> from yeah. YouTube. Fair enough. So well, it's a congrats- weird. It's a congratulations- weird system. Congratulations. Thank you. Regardless, everyone watch all of Gus's videos, especially the monetized ones. I know you can't tell them apart, so just watch all of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Well, I'm sharing. The reason I'm sharing most of them is because they're uh, they're covers. So, like, I can't claim all the rights. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, Also, just an additional note with this: uh, last fortnight, uh, when we did the Code Orange review, I attempted when editing the video to add very quiet versions of each song in when we were listening to them. 
um, mm-hmm. just so you guys could get like a little bit of an understanding where we were. Is that why like, we got that copyright email? Yes, um, because <laughs> I uh, scheduled it and then it was immediately blocked in all countries. Every song was picked up. And uh, I was just like, well, okay, fair Yeah, because I, so, I remember getting, an, a, like, a notification on my phone, like, in, your video has been blocked or whatever. I was like, oh, shit, what did I do? <laughs> no, so that, that was my fault. I immediately deleted the video and um, yeah. had to re-upload it and schedule it without uh, music. So Ooh. I will Sorry, just though. add the uh, little bar at the top that says what we're playing and when it starts. So... Yes. We're going to be doing that from now on with any album reviews. Sorry if you can't hear music. You're going to have to just yeah, find you the songs yourself and listen to them. They're free it's on YouTube and Spotify. Yeah, you can get them on YouTube. They're on YouTube and Spotify, so just fucking go for it, all right? Yeah, exactly. But uh, how about we get started? I'm ready. So the first song I've heard it was one of the singles. It's called All For You. And you. this is... <laughs> because I know this one already, I can say this is going to be a hell of an intro for you. <laughs> what this is? This is a really good one. I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'm gonna try. Okay, disclaimer: I'm gonna try not to sing for the half of the songs that I know, but I can't promise anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> all so, right. all right. So let's go it. ahead and get started. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll do the countdown. Yeah. All right. We're playing on three, two, one, go. Ooh, that. Ooh, hello. Yeah, right. Here it comes. Oh, okay. I love, I love Mike's voice. Just, ooh, I, li- I like that cut out and cut in. That was good. Yeah. This is one of the most hard hitting red songs I've ever heard. And it's just, like, so creepy, almost. Not creepy, but, like, listen to that. Yeah, he has just, a very good voice. Yes. Wow. When Mike just When Mike just lets it rip, it's incredible. Oh, I had to stop myself from singing. Come on. Just when he just Whoa! Oh, what, what was that string? They there's all kinds of strings in red songs. Shit. Mm. That was just out of nowhere though. Yeah. Um, oh, I love the guitars in this song. Oh, just when he just oh, and just like as soon as the chorus hits, Mike's just like ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, here are those violins. Jesus. For you. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yes. History. Just, oh, man. What the fuck? And listen to those strings in the background. I know. That's why I'm like. It's so cool. Ooh. And it backs off. Oof. Now this is like a creepy movie soundtrack. Yes. Mm. Damn. That was awesome. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, yes, I love that scream. Wow. Get in. Yes. That wow, that was an intro, certainly. Yes, <laughs> I know. That was awesome. I love that song. That's so good. My thoughts so, on that is that okay, literally they have just gotten 
every element that makes really good rock and metal music and have just smashed it together in one. Like, there's yes. times where music, like rock and metal music, calls for strings and violins and such. Like, yeah. depending on the, the tone and the feel of the song. See, mm-hmm. you wouldn't expect it at the start. It just starts off really heavy and just yeah. gets you in there. And then he starts screaming and it's just like, oh, this works. But yeah. then with like the build up and the weight in the chorus of those strings, like it manages to include them without them feeling out of place. Yeah. And usually you would think this is way too much. This is too much happening at once. But yeah, they, they've. Like, That's although the name the pa- of the game with red. <laughs> although the <laughs> There's pace- a lot happening. <laughs> although the pacing was like inconsistent, it still managed to make it all interesting. Yeah. Like even the repeat choruses, like mm-hmm. because that, that's the one thing. Like Skillet, Skillet, although my favorite band, and I've heard Skillet and Red be compared a number of times because yeah. they aren't they both Christian metal bands? Or yes, like they that? are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like one thing with uh, Skillet is that they can be repetitive, and they are not like they're either heavy or they're not, and it mm-hmm. sounds like Red is just all in one, <laughs> like. Like, yeah. they're all heavy and all somehow, at the same time, when they want to be, add violins and strings, which would yes. make you, would trick you into thinking they're not heavy. But, yeah. yeah. I like I'm expe- I liked I, that song. That was fucking that was, good. That was, that's one of the good ones. I mean, all the singles have been really good so far. Um, so, I was going to say, yeah, Red, the name of the game with them, they just have so much strings going on. Like, stuff like um, Towards the Bridge of that song, where it just everything dropped out except for those strings that is trademark red like that is so like red does that all the time and it's just it's that's not necessarily to like throw off the pacing it's more just to like kind of back off and then emphasize when the chorus kicks back in so it's just supposed to like kind of give you that moment to kind of think of like oh my god what just happened and then by the and so that's what that string section was for and then it just pounces back in with the chorus and especially in that one where um a lot of things that uh cool rock music does is that in like the last chorus it'll just throw it'll just get rid of everything except for the vocals and then it'll have like part way through the chorus the the guitars and drums and everything will just kick back in and that's really cool like um a lot of my favorite rock songs do that um like for the last chorus and so that was that, and that's something that Red doesn't do very often. Like, that's very rarely. I, I don't think I've heard that very much with their music. So, but yeah, All For You is a... Oh, it's so... It's such a good song. And it's, it's like, the more... It's, it's the more heavy side of Red, but it's also, like... It, there's so many accidentals in there that like make the make it sound all weird and uh, creepy almost. It's really cool. It's just a really cool song. Uh, I yeah, I liked that. That was yeah. very very good. Yes. Yeah, so I and this um, so moving on to track two. This is one I have not heard. So we will both be uh, blind for this one. So this one's called Infidel. So I'm not even entirely sure what that means. Do you know? I. I mm. thought that was like the name for the foreigner. I don't know. Let's search up the word infidel. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I ask Siri? Hey Siri. No, hold on. Infidel, a person who has no religion or whose religion is not that of the majority. Interesting. That's an interesting. I wonder how that's going to play into the song. Well. All right. I Only don't one know. way to find out. Only one Allah, way to find out. Allah Akbar. Um, anyway. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. Uh, do the countdown. <laughs> okay. All right. We're playing in three, two, one, go. Oh, Jesus. I don't like where this is going. Well, I mean, I do, but, like, I'm concerned. <laughs> what? Ooh. They changed the tone of that in. Oh, yes, Whoa. Michael. Yes, Michael. Get in. Those heavy hitting drums. I like those. Yes. They managed to switch the tune of that creepy intro very quickly. Yeah. I like this, though. Anthony is on form. Okay. I like this. Ooh, those harmonies are so good. Oh, 
Oh no, they might not even be harmonies. It's just a the high. Ooh. Oh. This is very offbeat. Boom. <clears throat> what the fuck? Yeah. Wow. Just the way that changes everything up. Ooh. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. That was cool. Yes! That was more trademark red right there. Just a backs off. I, I, feel like, I feel like if he performed this live, he would throw his throat out. Oh, Just going I can't from imagine so how low he lives. to so intense. Like, I'm so high to so intense. Yeah. I can't imagine how he performs live. I love how he sounds like like there's real emotion in the in his singing. Oof. Yeah, it's not as bad as some of the other songs, like the way it transitions everything. Oh, well, it, I don't I don't know why I don't like that. That transition to the chorus, that's the only part is, I don't like. I think there should be like a measure of rest in there or something. Yeah. I think that would work a lot better. I mean, the song itself so far, it's built well. It's just the fact that it cuts straight to the chorus from Yeah, what I'm not it was sure before. how much I like that either. Yeah. Uh, now I hear piano. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oof. Love that strings. I gotta say, Mike's vocals actually sound... Bet not noticeably better compared to some previous albums. He was always great, but they sound better in this album. I, I like his voice. It's just the jumping from the the jump from the screaming to this is just like at times it works, at times it doesn't. I like the contrast between, um, like, Mike's soft vocals and the, uh, kind of the heavy guitars going on. I do like that. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I liked, I liked that. Um, the only thing... Is just is like you said it was I would just say like I don't mind because I'm I you know I've listened to red so much I have heard songs with uh, weirder transitions that they've done um, like there I can name one song from their last album uh, gone called fracture where they like they had this really really heavy and like scream heavy verses and that it would just transition to like this slow drawn out lots of strings uh chorus when it was really good but it was it threw you off the first time you listened to it and with th that song i'm kind of the same way it's a weird transition from the verses to the chorus um i don't know if it's just like the guitar but uh and this the singing as well but I feel like that could have worked if they had just kind of like how in between the uh, the end of the chorus and the like f the pickup or the um, post chorus stuff like the riff, um, they leave like a measure of rest so that it transitions from the singing to the screaming. Yeah, that I feel like that they should have done that before the chorus as well. Um, that would have made that one a lot more like a lot less well, it would threw threw me off a lot less, I think. But I really liked that. The like I said, uh, Mike's vocals on this album sound noticeably better than some of his uh, some of the previous Red albums. So I, I might just be production, but even just how he's singing feels um, a lot stronger than usual. I like his singing. He's very good vocalist. I see. What, mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. Um, the one thing though, like, I agree in that song that transition at the start from the. Like, like before the chorus and hitting the chorus like that yeah just, 
there should have been something there. But yeah. also, I like his screaming vocals, but I thought they were a bit unnecessary here, especially because all he did was yell, I want to hear you scream. And especially mm-hmm. after that whole chorus bit where he's singing My Infidel. Like, to me, that just didn't mix. Like, it felt like they just cut two different songs together. And especially because all he screamed was, I want to hear you scream. Like, I reckon the song is purely just something that they would sing on stage just to get people hyped and yelling, which isn't a bad thing. But it's like, that screaming just seemed completely out of place to me. But I, I, overall, I do like, I did like that song. Yeah. It's just, I didn't think that screaming was necessary. That's fair. Uh, I'm, I would say I'm inclined to agree, but there's a lot of just random screaming, like not necessarily random, like everything in a red song is usually placed there for a reason. Um, but stuff like the really soft vocals and the heavy screaming, being one after the other or at least or even over top of each other at the same time is very common in red music but i feel like that could work but right here all he screamed was i want to hear you scream like who the fuck is he talking to the infidel like i I have no idea see like that just didn't seem it, it didn't seem in fit with the rest of the song like the chorus of how soft it was especially when like the end of the chorus when he was doing silly like singing my infidel and how Mm -hmm. like he held on that and it was just like fuck this is really good and then it just goes i want to hear you scream and it's just like why (laughs) what i don't know it 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 didn't seem to fit to me that's all but i I don't get what you're saying there's going to be a lot of soft then transitioning to scream and i feel like that can work yeah, but in that song, namely, I don't think it and another thing, yeah, I can point, I can actually point out another song where it worked really well. Um, again, in their last album, the first song called "Step Inside the Violence," that that whole chorus is just repeating two, I think, two lines, and the first one is a scream, and the second one is a really soft, like very re- not necessarily relaxed, but just like very breathy um, singing. So that's the entire chorus of the first song of their last album. And that one worked really well. So I didn't, I didn't think it worked as well here, but I still liked it. So uh, then we can move on to number three. Track three is called Cauterize. Um, so let's, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Playing in three, two, one, go. All right, wasting no time. I like that. Yeah, no, I like that as well. Shit. Ooh. I like this already. Interesting place to cut it, and those strings just intruding there. Ooh. Looks see like chance that going on. See that worked. That transition into scream that worked. Yeah. These like chants. This isn't something you hear very often. I like this. No. Layered vocals. I like it. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. Yeah, even, like, simple melodies like that when he was singing Connor Eyes, like, just Mike singing can make it sound so much more interesting. He's very versatile with his vocals. He's yeah. very talented. Yes. Oh, when he sounds angry like that. That was good. That scream, like, kind of leading into the chorus. I do like that. I do like that. Yeah, I do believe. (laughs) Yeah, the stuff like that. That's just how his vocals just change it up. It's so good. Oh, here we go. It's about to break down. Oh, it didn't break down as much as I thought it would. (laughs) <laughs> oh no there it is uh, 
I feel that the screaming is more in tune here. Like they're yeah. building into it more that yeah. and it fits. Yes. Oh, Ooh, that echo. This is, yeah. This is so red. This oh my God. Very, I like this. Actually, this is a very good one. Oh, Random note, I really like the album art as well. It is good. I do like the album art. Cool. And there's like kind of traces of an acoustic guitar back and backing the chorus this time. I like that. Yeah. Nice. See, that scream that they just added in the background there. Yeah, that, that was good. <laughs> yes, Mike. R destroy your voice. I love the strings at the end there. That was awesome. So, yeah, isn't it what you just said there? They fucking um, built up literally everything. Like, like They had a bit of everything mixed um, like going through the entire song. And then... Yeah, that was a um, really good one. Yeah, and then they fucking... Like, for the last chorus, added it all together. And yeah. that just added another level. That's why, like, when he said Catarize in the chorus, they added the screaming... When he's yelled, like when he screamed, "Catarize!" Like at the same time in the background, like that fucking last chorus built everything yes. together really well. Yes, and that transition from the bridge, like where it breaks down, and he was just absolutely screaming his head off, and then immediately after he's done, it transitions just like this really soft part with these like nice, really nice vocals. Just that is so red. Like they've been doing that since their first album. Like just stuff like that. I love it. It just it just throws you off. It doesn't throw. It throws you off, but in the right way because it's like. As soon as it's done, it's just this really pretty sounding guitar and strings and it just backs off everything to prepare you for the last chorus. It's so good. I really like that one. That was a good one. <clears throat> oh, that was I'm a big fan. Uh, I um, that was incredibly good. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, so on track four, The War We Made is another single, so I have heard this one already. Um, but this is, this is one, uh, I can say this is like one of the more straightforward ones. Um, it's especially for red, like it's just, it's just very like in your face. Like it just makes, it's just very, uh, it's, I don't know how you describe it, but it's just very nice. All right. So we'll, <laughs> <laughs> very good. All right. So we'll play, uh, track four in three, two, one, go. Yeah. See, this sounds like something you would have in a fucking superhero soundtrack. Yes. I love how this sounds. I love the piano back there. That's awesome. Hmm. Damn. And then here comes the guitars, yes. He is such a good vocalist. He really is. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. <clears throat> yes. Oh, that transition to the verse is very good. This is definitely a much less intense, but you're right, yes. more straightforward song. Yeah. I, I like it. It's very good. Ah. 
I'm... Yes! Oh! I love when he goes up like that. Let's say... How, how he's able to do it, though, like... It's ridiculous. How? It's so smooth, too. Oh, love this. Delay on that, too, like that. Man, he sounds good. Damn. Yeah, the more the more I listen to it actually, the more it sounds like a superhero movie credit song. Dude, I thought this was the one that was at the end of Spider-Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> If only. Ah, oh, I love this outro. This is very different to like Yes. Else we've heard. Wow. Yes, that was awesome. My okay. I freaking my first, love that my, song. My first take from that. Um, yes, very very different, but very very good. Um, yes. See, this is the one thing I I like, and I felt like we haven't talked about much is that um, hmm. like with the last review because of like see how Code Orange was and how they're very heavy on screaming and everything. It's yeah. um, very easy to miss or like not give attention to what they're actually singing yeah and those lyrics i yes. very much like uh I, it was all understandable it was all like a proper like message of like why the fuck are we doing this why are we in yeah war? exactly and then like his delivery the vocalist holy fuck yes he sounds he, great in that one he is a fucking talent jesus christ yeah but um red lyrics are amazing almost always um like they're just they're, some of them are obviously better than others that's definitely um one of their stronger ones uh but they're always like they're thought provoking and it's really interesting so i that's definitely one that's very strong lyrically um it's just very, like I said, very straightforward. It just, like, gets the message across very easily. And the song itself is just really just a good song to listen to. Um, one of my favorite of the singles, I think. And def and even still one of my favorites we've listened to so far. That was awesome. That was Ugh. very, very good. Um, yeah, so yeah, track... Shit. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so track five is another one of the singles. Um, it's been, this one's been out the longest. Um, this one's called The Evening Hate. This is an experience. <laughs> oh, you can tell. Okay, because, um, I'm on the, the Decor Declaration playlist, which mixes together the music videos and the topic uploads for each song. Okay, um, the, so you've got the, a music video then. Well, yeah, I had a music video for the last one as well. Um, oh, nice. That was all right. But uh, yep. The Evening Hate official video has been out since June the 8th, 2019. Yeah, it's been out for a long while. Shit. Yeah, right. is it is it okay, how long is the music video? Four minutes fifteen seconds. Four minutes and okay, you might have a different version than me. Hold on. Cause my mine on Spotify is four forty seven. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll see if I'll see if I can find the one I'm listening to. Yeah, I'll search it up as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that must be like the short version. Um 
I wonder if that's it. Nope, that's not it either. It's I wonder cool. what this. What's different about this one? And there's an alternate version on YouTube as well. What the fuck? Yeah, there's an, an, they put out they put out an EP la at the end of last year called um, the Evening Hate EP. So this one's been out for a while. Shit. Um. Yeah. Here. I can't find a 447 one. Here, I found one for you. Just open this in like a new tab or something. I'll send it to you. There you go. Thank. Thank. Yes. Thank. Big. Thank. I think this is the normal version. I'm pretty sure. Um. That I've heard before. If it's not, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is another one this is this one reminds me of some of their previous albums because there's a lot yeah. going there's a lot going on in this song like you're going to you're going to have a, a roller coaster of of things happening in this song it's really cool all right you ready yes i am okay so we're playing in 3 2 1 go i love this this riff this guitar riff is so good. Just Ooh. wait. Ooh. It's so good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. Ah. Oh, those strings. Yeah, right? Here comes this. This is the good part. <laughs> oh, oof! Ah, oh, this is like one of the hardest. Like this part, like not all red songs hit like this. Oh, this is, this is such a hard-hitting song. And I love it already. In this chorus. Oh, now that is good use of scream. That's yes, what you do. This is, this is a really good red song. Oh, and listening to it, I, I'm actually I've got some headphones on. Listening to it with actual headphones is an experience. Yeah, have you noticed that a lot of the songs just don't hit hard? Don't hit the same when you're not wearing the big headphones. Yeah, they don't. That was awesome. See, oh, that build up of the word hate. Fuck. Yeah, yeah right? Wait, and... Fuck that whoa that hit differently. Yeah, right. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was cool. Oh, and that screech noise that Yeah, right? Fuck. The guitars in this part in the bridge sound awesome. This doesn't sound very Christian. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, someone had to do it. Oh, this sounds good, though. This is good. I like this part. Don't rise, we fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is great. Just, oh. That change it, of instrumental for this chorus. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then how that reverb on that scream. Yes, yeah, sir. And like fades into the background. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Ah! Oh. Jesus. Yes, dude. I love that.
Yeah, this is the regular one. So the regular one has this string outro. Yes. So a lot of red songs do this. Like give you like a minute outro just to be like, what the fuck did I just listen to? <laughs> But it like still continues on the theme because you can hear him re uh, saying some of the lyrics from the bridge. Yes, dude. Ah. Oh! That's great. I love that song. Well, I can certainly understand why that one got released early and has its own EP and has an alternative version because that was fucking beautiful. <laughs> that, that was great. Wow. Man, that was awesome. Everything about that, like, it, the transitions were all fucking great. The, um, see that they didn't, like, overdo it with the screaming. It, like it came in at the right moment just to hit a little bit differently and yeah. then like the constant use of those little background strings and then that pause to whisper hate and then go into a completely different bridge like yeah right oh, it's so good i just myself no, fuck, oh, that, that was i have an erection no oh, that was like <laughs> that, that's that was my favorite song thus far fuck that yeah. i completely get why that has its own EP and everything. That was amazing. Yeah. The music video of it is pretty good too. Actually, I like it's red music videos are they're uh, kind of like breaking Benjamin music videos. They're like uh they're really left up to your interpretation. A lot of the stuff is really vague. Um and so it and but the Evening Hate like and the place they shot the music video for the Evening Hate as well. It's just it's oh, what a great music video. Um so yeah, that's a real that's a really good song though man it's just like you just forget how like that and that's even especially for like the first two and a half minutes or so um there aren't a lot of red songs that hit as hard as that one like that 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 like the verses and even the chorus for that like first two minutes i just want to dance like there's so much fun but red doesn't have a lot of songs like that so that's why it was like a really nice change of pace when this first came out it was like wow this is different from any of the stuff, from a lot of the stuff they've released so far, like even though they're they've been around for like almost fifteen years, like there's they don't have a lot of songs that are just like really pump up and hard hitting just like that one is. It's really good, so I'm a I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, same. That was fucking really good. Yeah. All right. So you have so track six is called Float, yep. which is an, another one I haven't heard. Um, we're halfway through the album now. Yes, we're halfway through. So let's go ahead and play this one. So we're playing track six in three, two, one, go. Oh, hello. I like this. Ooh, here we go. We're going in this time. Hey. Oh. Sounds like a Russell's theme song if they entered a death match. Yeah, right? <laughs> is that John Moxley? Where is he? Oh my god, where is he? He's coming through the crowd! It's the AEW World Champion! Oh. Whoa. Oh, this yes. vocalist. I want to kiss him on his bald head. Yeah, me too. Michael Barnes, is that his name? Michael. Yes, Michael. H fuck. What a legendary man. This he's incredible. Yes, he's very good. Oh, and the harmony's there too. Yes, fuck me harder, daddy. <laughs> the transition. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that wasn't very Christian of me. 
that. You, that's all right, though. It's fine. That, see, that part didn't need instruments. That was a perfect cutout. Yeah, that, that was, was great. Really good. Man, yeah. I said it once, I'll say it a million times. Michael sounds way better on this album than a lot of his previous, than a lot of the Reds' previous albums. He just sounds incredible. Ooh. Wait. And then chorus again. Nice. I do like that. I think this so far is my second favorite. This is it's a really good one. Because it's got a bit of everything and it's very consistent. Nice. Yeah, I that think was, that was good. Float so far is my second favorite, just because like it had a little bit of everything in there, but also it was very, very consistent and just that. Yeah. That, that so many different tones he used for the vocals, like it was just all. Oh, oh, that was good. Fuck. Yeah, that was really good. I see, and again, it's kind of like the evening hate, like that opening of like when it, the guitars first kicked in that surprised me because like red doesn't have a lot of songs where it's just like really hard hitting drums to these like fast riffs it's it's really it's like different and i like it um it's a, like every album is just so it's just noticeably different and i i love that about red so float that was that was really good just a, like you said very consistent very what just a nice song to listen to to headbang to See, you can't really call these, like, nice songs, because nice songs are, like, what you call chill yeah. songs you can groove to. These are the songs you fucking bang your head and fucking... Yeah, it, You scream exactly. and annoy all the neighbors, too. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, actually, song. I'm... Yeah, I've been, uh... I'm actually waiting for, because Red has one of these... They might not on this album, but usually they have something, like, a, a soft song. Um, they usually have one or two, and I haven't heard one yet. Which is interesting. So if they don't, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have one on this album because just that's just how this album seems to be going. It's a lot more like in your face and heavy compared to some of the previous well, ones. Uh, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark. Mm -hmm. I think the last song from the Ashes. Oh no, that's from... a single. I've heard it's it's nice, but it's not. It's very heavy still. Okay, never mind. That's another so one of the say, singles. It's five and a half minutes. Surely there's gonna be like two no. There's minutes there's a stuff. long yeah. There's a long in, um outro. I think okay. for that one. But yeah. that's that's uh, from the Ashes is really good. Um. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll move on to track seven. Track seven is called the victim. So we'll play that on three, two, one. Go. Oh, maybe this is it. Or maybe not. What the hell? This is very different. Yep, I was... <laughs> wow, that was an interesting That was intro. very interesting. That gave, yeah. me code or that gave me Code Orange vibes. Man, Anthony, the guitarist, is on form. His riffs are awesome in this album. Wow. Layered, more of your layered vocals. I know, but that's such a weird down tune. Like, just cutting it down a bit. That was... Ooh. Ooh. Wait. What? This is weird. Oh, wow. 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 You know, I've heard every single Red song in existence, and this is still mind-boggling to me. 
This is very mind boggling. Just the <sighs> the pacing itself is just like it jumps continuously. Yes. I mean, I like it, but still, what's yeah. going on? It's very good. If this had been any other band trying to do this, they would have failed miserably. See, I can imagine, like, if Skillet attempted something like this, this would be one of the songs I don't like. Yeah. But they're able to... They're kind of able to make it work, despite how, able, like... They're able to blend it, but it's still yeah. strange. Yeah. It is where it is. I'm a little confused. Very confused. And now they've got that intro just playing in the background. At least they're consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Keep I do this like up. these guitars. Keep this up, please. Yes. Yes. There we go. Ooh, I'm getting into it now. Their new uh, drummer is really ooh. on point. He is. All right. Yeah, th yeah, their new drummer is killing it. They got a new drummer um, when they went independent. And this is... He's killing it. Nice. I do like... That, that it was is the weird. ending? I, yeah, fuck. that was the ending. Yeah. That was okay. I'm a little. I, the ending was weird. I I kind of am inclined to like it though. That was cool. See, like that last. That was, the, that, that was very like it jumped from different tunes. Like it was just cutting every like for ten seconds. It went to something else, and then that last minute though, that build up, I was just like, yes. oh, I'm here for the ride now. And then it ended. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> If there was like for the a, ride, bitches. If there was like another minute or two in that, that of just that build up and then transitioning back down, yeah, I would have appreciated it a whole lot more. But it's just like, yeah, as it was, is, it's like, whoa. It's, it's like, is that is that finished? Is like, is there is there <laughs> another minute you guys got to add on to that, or is that? Yeah, it? You, did you you guys forget something? <laughs> yeah, I feel oh. I feel like I feel like they forgot an extra minute of music there but that yeah. still it was although odd pacing it was still pretty good it was peculiar but it was like like I said it's like it's just red just fucking having at it <laughs> they're just trying to see what works and what doesn't and I I'm I'm on board yeah, that was shit. cool um yeah that was I don't even know what to say like that's that was weird but I kind of like it oh well, man anyway <laughs> um, track eight is another one of the singles. I don't know if it's my, it's up there with my favorites though. This is Sever is really good. So track eight is called Sever and it's awesome. All right. So, uh, so we've only got one more song that I haven't heard yet. So this, but I'm excited to hear this one cause I, it's been a while. So we're playing okay. track eight on three, two, one, go. Ooh. I'm getting Especially. like classic rock vibes from this. Yeah. It's very good. Oh. The verses are really cool. I really is like that, this. Is that a faint piano I hear? Probably. The Ooh. lead guitar. Yes. Oh, that guitar. Yes. Oh, guys, I'm hurting. I'm trying not to sing. Oh. That's where you do lay it good. Oh, guys, I'm trying so hard. Get in. Shit. Ah. Oh. Mm. 
<clears throat> yes! Oh! God, it's so good. Here come the strings. I was expecting something a little bit heavier during that chorus, but they didn't disappoint. That was still pretty good with what it was. Yeah. I don't know why I was just expecting something heavy in the chorus, but that was still good. Yeah, I just like just Michael just like letting it fucking out. It's great. Mm. Also, that offbeat drum, like, what's going on there? Yeah, right. Their their new drummer is really on a mission. Hmm. Get in, guitarist Anthony. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Yes, this is great. Now this yes. this song feels a little bit more like Christian rock. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that build up of drum. <clears throat> yes. God, I love this song. Man. <clears throat> this isn't as strong as like some of their other songs lyrically, but man, it makes up for that in the music. I am a fan. That of was that. great. That, that was, was great. Really good. I love that. What a song. That felt, Holy crap. That felt 100% more Christian rock than every other song on oh, this yeah. album. For sure. But that did not disappoint. Like, as I was saying during the song, like, the build-up and, like, the way every other song has gone so far in this album, I was expecting a lot more, something a lot more heavier during the chorus. Yeah. But instead we got, like, an offbeat drum going to, to the same pace, which is still very, very good, but it's not what I expected. Mm -hmm. like, I, again, expecting something heavier, but I still really, really enjoyed that for what it was. That was very yeah. good. Yeah. Severance is great. I can definitely imagine, like, an alternate version of that where they just got a fucking scream in the fucking chorus. But, oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. No, I, I enjoyed that. That's probably the third favorite. That, one, third that one's favorite. getting an acoustic version. I can, <laughs> Guaranteed. I can see that. I can see that getting acoustic. Guaranteed. Um, yeah, third favorite, I reckon, that one. Yeah. All right. So, I and I, I, I've already said, but, like, Sever is great. I just, oh, it's, like, one of those, it's, again, like, Reddit is usually very, like, theatrical and, like, they're not as much in your face, but, like, Sever is, like, it's something that you could see some, is almost, like, it's, like, Red's version of maybe some other song that another Christian rock band might have done. Like, you could, like, it's you can't you can't mistake Mike's voice, but like the actual composition is like you might believe it if another Christian if someone told you another Christian rock band wrote this song. I can um, imagine like Skillet singing that. I can imagine John Cooper nailing those vocals as well. Like that, yeah. I can imagine being a Skillet song. But yeah, I'm glad it's a Red song. They managed they managed to kick it in and make it work very well. Yeah, and I believe. Um, Keith Wallen, who is a guitarist for Breaking Benjamin, helped them write that song, which is an interesting fun fact. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's the one. I know they hel he helped them write a song. I'm pretty sure that was the one that he helped on, but, uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, so that was eight. And then track nine is called Only Fight, or Only Fight. I guess the inflection on that was wrong. Only but, um, Fight. 
only fight. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, we're playing in three, two, one, go. This is interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh! Look at that! Listen to that bass. Yeah, the bass is killing it. Big Randy. Randy's the bassist. What a man. I like the pacing of this so far. They haven't like trucked in strings and gone straight to another fucking part oh, it's of the coming. song. They're lingering on this for a bit of time, and I like it. Yeah. Ooh. Layered vocals again. Here we go, boys. I love it. Yeah, this is, again, this is different from a lot of Red music. This is very different. Woohoo! Wow! Hello! Wow! This is cool! Ooh. Look at these noises. Wow. See, this consistency of the song, this yeah. I can appreciate. Yeah. I'm on board with this. Oh! I'm headbanging right now. Yeah, right? Oh! Just how it's off like that? That's cool. Jenner, Daniel. Ooh. I like I like this. This is cool. This is jumping up there straight away for me. I like that I very, very much like this. See this type of song you can't do all the time. Like it has yeah. to be a one off song on the album. Yeah. And this was I'm works. glad this was it, yeah. Oh, Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Man. Mike screams. I feel what? I feel bad, but like what? his this voice sounds like it's me. being ripped apart. This reminds me of like a less intense version of Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah, right? Just the if, amount like of streaming. This is so not red. I'm, I'm, but it is at the same time. Like you hear those strings, like it's so not red, but it so is. So the strings so coming confusing. in near the end. This works. Yeah. Wow, that is so See, surprising. The strings only came in for like the last thirty seconds, but that they managed yeah. to make that work. See, as I was saying, like that that type of song with that consistency and pacing, like using those same drums throughout the entire fucking thing like that where it's just the same shit continuously like that yeah. can work but you can't do that for like every song it has to be one a one-off song yeah that has exactly that type of that type of feel to it and that i very very like much like that yeah that was great I was, again, I'm so surprised to hear something like this on a red album but i'm not disappointed that was that was just Man, what a headbanger. That was yeah. great. So now, if, if they played that live, I would be screaming with them. Oh, chores. yeah. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Alright, so we're... I, I don't even know what else to say about that one. Okay, so we can move on to the last track. Track 10 is From the Ashes. and th So that, that was the last song I haven't heard, but From the Ashes... I'm I'm going through with this because it's a great song. This is um this was actually the second single they released. This is part of the Evening Hate EP. Um so this is like kind of on the same level of experience as the Evening Hate. Like there's a lot of ups and downs in this one. Um and the chorus is one of my favorite red choruses ever. So ah, cool. let's let's hear it. So playing from the ashes in three, two, one, go. Oh. oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait, did you miss it? Yeah, I pressed the, hold on. Okay, try oh, to shit. do that again, do that okay. again. Okay, from the ashes, three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. 
Ooh. It's, listen to this cello, is that like tr tremolo. Cello? Yes, it is. Ah! Ooh. Yes, Anthony! Get in! I'm surprised to see this end the album, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> yes! This is, I'm gonna have to try so hard not to sing. Whoa! Yes! I'm not gonna God. do it. I'm not gonna do it. I feel like a superhero on top of a building. Yeah, right? Fuck! Hey, that's on a shirt! They put the they put that li those lines on a shirt. Oh. Like we live, we die, we fall, we rise. Well, I want that shirt now. <laughs> yeah, right. I want it too. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> God, this song is so good though. I love this song. I'm very much into it. Oh, that layer. Just w yes. Yes, when he holds that high note and then, and then they the layer it at it. the same time. Yes. Oh. Yes. Right? It's so good. This is magnificent. Yes. Oh, that those different drums. Was that a flute? No, it was just a violin like tremolo. Or not tremolo, uh, trill. Trill, Jesus. I get the terms mixed up. Oh, here we go. Yes. There's actually an acoustic version of this on the Evening Hate EP, and it's really good. I may still prefer this version, but hearing it acoustic is really interesting, too. Yeah, see, you're being spoiled right now with one of the best choruses that Red's ever done. <laughs> you're being I know, spoiled. I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I, I've got the biggest boner right now. This yeah, is right? amazing. <laughs> Just listen to him let that out. Oh. Can I just hug this man? He I know, is doing he's so, so well. Good. I love it. They have different paced instrumental for each chorus. Like that, it says something yeah. different in each chorus. Oof. I just love how it's like, mm, just throw it in all this guitar and it's like off. Oh, it's not sure. Oh, it comes back. And then just this really pretty outro. Like that a full was like minute. the quick, that was the quickest five minutes of my life. Like, yeah, right. Fuck. Oh, I love that song, dude. It's I was, so good. I, I was in it for the long haul. That was amazing. Dude, I when this first came out, dude, I literally, I literally, like, got in my car and just started driving around just so I could fucking scream the chorus. It was awesome. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, I have things to say. Yes. While I love that fades. outro. While it fades. Um, what a great outro. Okay. So the one thing I noticed with this album, the longer songs, they put a lot of time Go into on. them. Like, like the Evening Hate and Infidel and From Ashes, they're all the ones that are, like, and Sever as well, but not really Sever. Like, a few of the longer songs, they put more time into them and add a whole bunch of different elements that yep. breaks up the pacing a bit, which is good because you don't want five minutes of the same repeating shit. Yeah. So they add a whole heap of different elements, which everyone, I'm assuming, like from what you've said, is familiar with Red, and they just break up the pacing and it makes it work really well. Yeah. See, from the ashes, that was a beautiful example of like raising it up and then bringing it back down, but s- remaining consistent. But the, like they red, it's, uh, you can definitely tell what a red song is. You're right. The second to last yes. song, only fight. That was probably the only different song like that you could think maybe someone yeah. else had a hand in that. Um. I fucking love this album. I'm glad you. It was you, great. I'm, I'm glad yeah. you recommended it. Like, yeah, from Dude, Ash, that uh, was awesome. And like, I, I get why the bigger songs, the um, the more popular songs, I get why they become singles because of how fucking good they are. Like the Evening Hay and From the Ashes. But yeah, the, that, that's there's a reason those are now my favorites. Because yeah, those two are wonderful. Yeah, those it, are great. There's a reason that they're the favorites. But um, float and let's see all the, the whole second half of the album. That was great. The first yeah. half of the album I enjoyed as well. Like I think Infidel, the pacing could have been better. Catarize yeah. was pretty good. The war we made. I do like. Car- I do like Catarize and the War We Made. Like I feel like Infidel is probably the least favorite. Yeah, but even then, I'm inclined to agree. Either that one or the Victim, just because the Victim was so strange. Yeah, maybe, but yeah, I overall oh, fuck that. that yeah, and that you've was had a, an experience now. That was a you've, phenomenal. You're ending. part of us. You're part of us now. You're part of this. You are now. It, you have now been indoctrinated, and now you can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you're part of it now. I, I feel like from from, from from the ashes is gonna stick with me for a long time. That was beautiful. That was great. But, I um, love that song. Yeah, shit. yeah. I gotta say, um, so from the ashes, that's like that's one of those songs where and Red has uh, the, I'm not one in every album, but it the, I've heard songs they've done that are like can be compared to from the ashes but from the ashes is just it's like the culmination of all of those songs and just thrown in to make this absolutely like almost near perfect ballad that of just emotion and strings and heavy rock riffs it's wonderful so from the ashes is just the culmination of it's like so if just a little bit of history like After their last album, Gone, their most recent album, it came out in 2017, before this one, that was their last album that they were on um, a record deal for. So after that, they actually went independent and um, went and like basically depended on their fans for money. So they had like a fund me for their like for for this album, like they a couple years back, they had a GoFundMe so that they could fund this album and they got it in easily like it was so because they're independent now and not um d- relying on their uh their record deal they were able to like take and and they do this with every album but they were in to take it like in a new direction and i i don't know if they had a different producer this time around um but their usual producer uh rob graves is incredible and is responsible for a lot of the strings stuff that and from the previous albums and it sounds like he had a hand in this one too um but man just this is so from the ashes is like a like a culmination of just them becoming independent almost to me it's just like this is what we can do we have still got it even though our record deals expired we've still got it and this proves it so 
Um, like I even on while I was driving to Blacksburg uh, a few days ago with a friend of mine, he was like, he's in the other room. Um, he was like, like the evening hate came on shuffle, and he was like, "Wow, Red's still making music." I was like, "Damn right!" And uh, it, he was just so he was very surprised to hear that, and like just how strong they still are. Uh, so yeah, Declaration. I gotta say that was I don't know if I would rank it as high as some of Red's other albums like of Beauty and Rage or Until We Have Faces, but wow was it great. And all of Red's albums um are great or better. So <laughs> um that was really, really good. So I'm I, that was oh, I don't even know what else to say. That was great. <laughs> yeah, Jesus uh, Christ. That yeah. Was... Woo. Yeah. So that it might not great. be my my personal favorite, but Man, I just can't recommend them enough. Just if you haven't heard Red, I made a fan out of Trent. I can make a fan out of you too. <laughs> like, uh, so yeah, just you can pick any. Okay, the one exception is Release the Panic. I don't know what happened with that one, but they got a different like producer and whatever. They tried something different. Release the Panic is fine. It's good. It's definitely not bad. It's just not Red. It doesn't quite. It's not as good as Red usually is. So that's why Release the Panic is usually just like ah. Oh. I mean, like there's some really good songs on Release the Panic, but like production wise, it's just not the same as um the rest of their albums so um trent if you're curious if you don't want to know where to go from here i would probably recommend until we have faces for the next album if you want to listen to another one because that's probably the most similar to this one um, okay i forgot which album was that i found i think it was probably let me just look through this yeah the first album and the silent end of silence mm -hmm. um yeah End of Silence is good, too. Yeah, Hide. That was the only song before this that I was familiar with. Yeah. And enjoyed. And then I remember I listened to the rest of End of Silence, probably, and I just wasn't really into it. But yeah. uh, until we have faces, all right, I'll go and uh, check that out. Yeah, End of Silence bit. has some really good songs. Like, not all of them are as top tier because it was their first album, but songs like... Um, well, Hyde is definitely one of the best songs on that album for sure. But stuff like Already Over, the first three are incredible. And then um, Pieces is a piano ballad. It's considered, even from even though it's from their first album, it's considered to be one of their best songs they've ever done. Uh, nice. Which is crazy. So, but yeah, it, I, I would recommend Until You Have Faces if you want to go somewhere from here. I think that's my personal favorite Red album. I don't know if it's the best. I think Of Beauty and Rage is probably the best, but Until You Have Faces is my personal favorite. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, that's, so from, from here, I think that's the logical next step. So, if you're curious, if you ever find time and want to listen to some more Red, uh, right I'd highly recommend it. Listening well, to more red, that is. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued by what else they're capable of, but I am glad that I was here for that. Now it's gonna yeah. be a long wait until their next album. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah, um, damn. But you've got I mean, you've never heard any of their other albums except for End of Silence, so you've got a you've got a lot to look forward to. Yeah, shit. So <laughs> I am uh I I'm in. I'm in I'm in it now. This is fucking good. Um, yeah. Knowing what they're capable of, and especially like now that they're independent, uh, I can imagine we'll be seeing a lot more of that type of, like, kind of new, yeah. a bit more modern style mm -hmm. of red, which I'm not sure what the overall consensus is on it, but I, as a first time listener of a full red album, fucking loved it, so. Yeah. Fuck. So, the, yeah, the thing, well, the main thing about them being independent is now they can release music whenever they want to so that's why we actually got like half the album in advance usually we'd probably only get like one or two songs maybe three yeah before the album came out but they they released like the evening hate back in like june or whatever because they were done with it already so they were like well shit it's just gonna sit here until we release the album next year so they just went ahead and released it so that's fair. um yeah, so that's that's one. I think that's probably the best thing about them being independent. So like, basically, the next time they get a single done, we'll probably be able to hear it pretty quickly, which is nice. So that's that's the main thing about them being independent. So I'm I'm glad they are. Uh, just want not a, not to not to um uh what was it flex or anything, but I did donate to their GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Um, well, yeah, exactly. 
Well, but yeah, that was great. Well, thanks for uh, sharing this ride along with us, guys. And uh, yes. if you didn't end up listening to their music and just listen to our reactions, I'm sure you're probably weirded the fuck out. But um, yes, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, uh, I think please the listen to Red. The, the whole point is listen to Red. The whole point of these album reviews is that you're listening along with us, especially so you can the- hear like what we're reacting to and all this other stuff. Yeah, because remember, like whenever a song is released, like whenever things are released now, there's always like a, a version that a topic version that comes up with it on YouTube. Yeah, uh, for copyright reasons, that's how like that's the YouTube's automated system uploading it. And it identifies that as the original song. So if anyone else uploads Mm -hmm. it, they get copyrighted. So, and and they're all, they're all able, uh, you're able to listen to them as well. So yeah, look, the whole point of these reviews is listen to the songs along with us, go on a ride with us and uh, comment down below what your opinions are. We would love to know. Let us know your favorite tracks in the comments or whatever. And I'll let uh, Gus take care of the outro. Yeah, so thank you all for for listening and having this wonderful red experience along with us. Um, if you did, I don't know. If you didn't, what are you fucking doing? Um, but yeah, so <laughs> uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Firestorm Pod, where you can tweet us telling us how gay we are or how what your favorite songs were from the album when you definitely listened to it when while we were or if you have listened to it when we were listening to it which you should have been doing yes please let us know your favorite songs in the comments or you can tweet us or whatever we're at firestorm pod uh if you have questions or suggestions for episode topics or anything else like i said you just want to send a strongly worded email about how gay we are please send them to firestorm productions to at gmail.com and we'll probably see it but if you tell us how gay we are, we'll probably ignore it. But we might respond saying thanks. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, again, thank you all for listening. And I, we will see you next week. Bye. It's anime time next week. Mm, it is anime time next week. Anime time. Bye-bye. Anime time. Bye-bye. Bye.